Welcome biologists. In this session, we're going to take a look at the histology of the pancreas. Now for this, you need to be able to look at microscope images taken from the pancreatic tissue and identify different parts from that image. So first of all, let's take a look at where the pancreas is. So as you can see here, it's just behind, situated behind the stomach within your abdomen. And the Pancreas is considered to be both exocrine and endocrine. So if you remind myself of what those are, so exocrine is where the products such as enzymes or um, hormones uh, are carried via ducts. So in the pancreas, we actually have enzymes that are carried to the gallbladder in the pancreatic duct. Um, it's also considered an endocrine organ because we have insulin and glucagon hormones which are made in the pancreas and these are released directly into the bloodstream. Now you need to be able to identify these insulin and glucagon making cells um, from the pancreatic tissue and they are found within the islets or islets of Langerhans. There are two types of cell within the islets of Langerhans, they've got alpha and beta cells. The alpha cells produce glucagon hormone and the beta cells produce the insulin hormone. And you can identify the islets of Langerhans from um, a microscope image because it appears slightly lighter in colour as you can see in this image here in comparison to the rest of the tissue. Now you're more likely to be able to get an image like this in your exam where I asked you to identify the islets of Langerhans. And in this image you can see here that it's stained a certain colour. Uh, depending upon which cell it is. So in this particular image here, we've got the um, the cells that create glucagon and make glucagon. These are stained red and the beta cells that make insulin, these are stained in blue in this particular image. Now, the staining should be listed in the actual question if it's asking you about a certain stain given a certain colour to identify certain cells. This is more typical of an image that you might be given in an exam where the islets of Langerhans appear slightly lighter in colour. Um, I can also identify here a pancreatic duct and it's quite easy to see because you can see that the cells create a circle um, with a lumen inside. Other cells that you might be asked to identify the acini, which is plural, or acinus, which is singular. Now, these cells are the cells um, here that surround the islets of Langerhans. These are the cells that are going to be making things like your enzymes, whereas the islets of Langerhans, these are the ones that contain your alpha and beta cells that are going to be making your insulin and your glucagon. So here we have an example of the exocrine acini, and here we have an example of the islets of Langerhans or islets of Langerhans. In this particular image, I can't see a duct, uh, but as I showed you that image before, you can quite clearly see that. Now, these are the things we need to be able to, be able to identify from an image um, that I have seen in an exam before. So if you need to, just go back on the video and recap on those different things. Now, um, just to make you aware as well, um, so that's one, a bit, sorry, an image with all three on, um, but just to make you aware and remind yourself as well and how to draw an image from the microscope. Now, this comes up every single year in the exam. Um, so you need to be able to get full marks when asked to draw um, some cells from a photo micrograph. So for example, if I'm asked to draw three cells from this particular image, I need to make sure, first of all, I've actually drawn three cells, that I've got clear continuous lines with no shading and no ragged edges, that I've got the correct proportions, so I can actually, the examiner can actually see which cells I have actually drawn from this image. That I've used more than 50% of the area provided, so my cells are, are quite large and they fill up the space provided. And that label lines are drawn with a ruler to the correct feature with no arrowheads. You need to identify at least three parts to the image, for example, the nuclei, the cytoplasm and the cell membrane, for example. And um, that is how you get full marks on a photomicrograph. Like I said, it comes up every single year, so you need to make sure you can draw an image from a photo micrograph or from a microscope image. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best with your studies.